Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming, and yes, today I finally did it. I compacted my 2x2 triple piston extender. Now, let's just show you what it did. Well, I'm going to show you the older version. So, see, it goes down uh, four blocks and goes up four blocks. So, today, it only, literally, it only took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to compact this. I didn't know that once I knew how to build it, that it wouldn't be so hard to compact it, actually. So here's the compact version right here. It's not that bad. It's only 10 by 10. And then you have to add on a T flip flop right here. And here's the older version, kind of uh, bulky and redstone everywhere and disgusting. And there's cows in it. You need cows for this one to work. I don't know why, but you just do. But then I ran into a little problem. Now... If you are pretty, like, you know what, to, like, how to work with redstone, then you know there's this thing with directions and which way you build it, how it can affect your redstone, and I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, because in this, I built this nice compact version, and I was like, oh, sweet, this thing's awesome, and then I turn it this way to build the same exact thing, same exact one down there, same exact way. So, actually, let me just show you this one first. Okay, this one, you just flip the lever. It goes down. Flip the lever. It goes up. Of course, there wouldn't be a lever there. You can hook up a T-flip-flop right here and hook it to any part of this redstone right here. So, I built it this way, too. This is actually the way I was going to do the tutorial on. And then, watch this. Okay, I got it up. It goes up fine. And then, when you click it down... What the hell is going on?! <laughs> so it literally it took me about 30 minutes to compact this thing right and then when i built it this way i was like oh damn so i started building and it took me one hour and like 40 minutes to figure out how to get it built in this direction and literally it was the easy it was really easy to actually figure out how to do it but once you got something built it's kind of like it's difficult to realize how to do it in a different direction because you don't want to completely change the whole thing to, it's just uh it's just so annoying so all i had to really do is just add on an extra part so over here you can notice that there's this one part right here but there's nothing here so in this direction going towards the west because west and south are different from north and east so going from south i had to add on an extra part right here I had to drop, this repeater used to be four ticks, I had to drop it to one. And then I had to add on two more four repeaters and a repeater on three. Now the reason why it was uh, on an infinite switch, on an infinite loop, is because of this right here. For some reason when you build it towards the north or the east, you can have this piece of redstone dust right here. But technically on this side of this redstone dust, right here is a torch. And then you have a repeater going right here. So, of course, if the repeater hits the dust, hits the torch, then it's going to loop back around and just keep looping and looping and looping and looping. And that's why I was doing that stupid juddering motion up here. That's why I kept doing this. So, if I flip this, it starts going crazy because over here, where is that dust? All right, there it is. See how it keeps going on and off, on and off. It's, for some reason, it does it this direction. But... In this direction, it won't do it. I don't know why. Honestly, I, I don't know why it won't do it in this direction. But it, it makes it more compact this way, so I don't care. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so when I built it this way, I had to delete that one little one. Go down an extra block. Put a repeater in. And it works fine. And then another thing with this one. For some unknown freaking reason, facing the south, the it only works off this block. It will only work off this block with this lever. See, it goes up. It goes down. So let me get a lever out and just show you what I mean. So if I put the lever here, just one block over, it goes up. And then it goes retarded. <laughs> if I put it here, it goes up. And then it goes, why the hell do I only work off one freaking block? <laughs> so it only works off this one block for some reason. I got no idea why. This one, this one will work off any block that hooks to any of this redstone over here. So if I put it here, goes up, comes down, fine. I put it over here, goes up, 
comes down just as fine. And then you come back over to this one. You put it the same spot as I did over there. Goes up. And then goes retarded. So it only works off this one block. So when I do make the tutorial, I will show you both ways depending on how you're facing. Honestly, it doesn't really... Oh, it's just annoying. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> so now that I got that out of the way, I also have one more little secret build that I want to show you guys. I have not yet compacted it, but once I do, I will do a tutorial on it. I built a 3x3 flush piston. So... <laughs> I think it's really cool, but like I said, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty disgusting back there. Cause like, I don't really, I don't use people's tutorials offline. I don't go to other people's channels and use their tutorials. I try to do it myself. And I know when you guys look at these things over here, you're probably like, Oh, I seen such a more easier version or haven't I seen that somewhere? But guess what? In Minecraft, if you thought of it, someone else has done it. If you do it, someone else has done it. Cause Minecraft has been out for a pretty long time. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first one to do a 3x3 a, a, uh, three three flush piston. I'm sorry. it's That's impossible. Now, is, like I said, if there's someone who's done it an easier way or a harder way, of course. I mean, look at this back here. It's, it's just a big-ass mess. And I, I got to fix this before I, I decide to do a tutorial on it. But I know people like doors and whatnot. So I thought I'd do a flush piston 3x3. Three three. It's pretty cool. Works fine. Like I said, it just needs more compacting. So I got this compactor right here. I'll be doing a tutorial on that hopefully soon. I got uh, I got that over there. And I, I guess that's the whole video. I guess the whole video was about showing you how I compacted this and how I hate directions with redstone in Minecraft. I wish they would fix that. But I don't even think that's fixed on the PC. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Alright, guys. So... Yep, I'm going to hopefully get a tutorial out for this. I'll hopefully get this compacted by the end of the week and hopefully get a tutorial out on the 3x3 flush. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys, peace.